Hey Mark, we're doing a convocation over anti-bullying. Would you take a look at this and let me know if you'd give a speech for it? Sure. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate it, Mark. Right, thank you. Bullying is a problem at our school that needs to be Wait, no, everybody does that. At least five minutes to try to include personal experiences. Ever since I was a young kid, I have been really good friends with this person. Let's call him Billy. We were inseparable. We did everything together. Then we got into middle school and things changed. We had no classes together and didn't really see each other in school. One of his teachers later even came up to me and told me that he was suspected of bullying another kid. I couldn't believe it. I thought that he was way too nice to do something like that. Then I got a call from his mom. She said Billy had been giving some kids a hard time and asked if I could try to help him out. That night he came over and I confronted him. I asked why he did what he did and what was happening. He said that he met some other kids in his classes that were not a great influence on him. His grades had started to drop and he was beginning to turn into a different person when he was around them. We talked about it for a while and came to the conclusion that we needed to get his schedule changed. So the next day, before our classes, we went to the counselor's office and asked if we could get his schedule changed so he was no longer in classes with those kids. The counselor agreed and Billy started to go to his new classes the very next day. He also went and apologized to all the kids that he hurt. Now he has a high GPA and he has lots of new friends in his classes. So now you might be thinking, that's a cool story at all. But what does it have to do with me? Well right now, I want to ask all of you here a question. How many of you are like Billy in this story? The nicest kid around some groups and getting into trouble for bullying with other people. We need to stop being the kinds of people that act differently around different groups. If everybody held their highest standards around everybody, and not caring about what people might say about it, then the world would be a much better place with higher standards. This is what I want to encourage you to do. Hold your standards high and be proud of them. Don't hide them because you're afraid of what people will think. Hold your friends to your standards as well. Hold your standards and live by them, and we can improve the standards of the world.